Hello, Kirk Olson here, AMSOIL Account Direct. The purpose of this video is to show you how to purchase AMSOIL products factory direct at wholesale prices versus retail prices. Through this process, you'll get the product delivered straight to your doorstep, don't have to call anybody, and uh, you'll get it at the wholesale price versus retail. The first thing we need to do is go to the URL that you are looking at on your screen. I've already got it uh, in my browser so I'm going to go up here and hit enter. That's going to bring us to the page here and the first thing we need to do is look up what we need for our particular vehicle. Over here on the right hand side is uh, the product lookup guides and I'm going to go to auto and light truck lookup guide. There's also a power sports lookup guide, which would be for motorcycles, uh, personal watercraft, uh, ATVs, things of that nature. But I'm going to click on this for auto and light trucks. That's going to open up a new tab in your browser or new window. And the first thing we need to do is enter our year and make and model. So I'm just going to pick on, say, a 2005 model year. It's going to bring us up a manufacturer's list. Let's say I want a Dodge truck and say a Ram 1500. What this is now telling us is in 2005, Dodge made five different engines for that particular vehicle. The engine codes here are on the right hand side of the list in these brackets. If you don't know what you have, you can look that up to see what engine code you have. Most people do know what they've got if they've got a 3.7, a 5.7, or an 8.3, or a 4.7. But in this case, uh, there's two 4.7s, a standard and a flex fuel. Let's just pretend I don't remember if I had the flex fuel version or not. So what you can do is go up here if you need to, go up here to where it says uh, engine VIN code lookup. And if I scroll down here to where it says Dodge truck, it's saying here that the eighth character of my VIN number denotes my engine code. So you can go to your windshield, look at your VIN number, and look at the eighth character and find out what you've got if you don't know. But let's just pretend that I looked at that and I know that I've got engine code N. And that on the right hand side here is going to bring up our list. And what this is going to now tell us is everything that's available, uh, all specs, etc., for your particular vehicle. I'm going to scroll down here to capacities. That's one of the first things you want to look at to know how much product your vehicle is going to take. Here under capacities, it's saying that. I need 6.1 quarts of oil to do an oil change on this particular truck. So now I know that information. I'm going to scroll up here now and see what filter I need. There's two filters available, a Wix filter and an AMSOIL Absolute Efficiency filter, the EAO42. I will tell you if you ever see in this particular section under filters if an absolute efficiency oil filter is available for your particular make and model of vehicle, I suggest getting it because there is a big difference between the absolute efficiency oil filter versus a standard oil filter. The biggest difference being that the absolute efficiency oil filters are synthetic media filters made with a nanofiber technology media and it traps smaller particles and more particles and flows the oil more freely in your engine it's better for it and on top of that it is a 25,000 mile or one year oil filter whichever comes first so if it's available uh, for your particular vehicle I suggest uh, getting it. So now we know what filters we need and we're gonna eventually be getting at wholesale price Let's scroll back up here and take a look at the oil. Under the engine oil section here, it shows us there's three options. Any of these three particular oils will work and are rated for this particular vehicle. The oil is usually listed in first recommendation, second and third. 
Sometimes there's less, sometimes there are more. In this particular case, there's three recommendations for the oil for this particular vehicle. Um, like I said, any of these three will work. I'll tell you the differences between these three in this particular case. Uh, if you see the Signature Series oil pop up for your particular vehicle in the number one position, uh, that's usually a good idea but not required. The Signature Series is Amsoil's absolute best oil that they manufacture. It's designed for 030, 530, and 1030 applications. And it is a 35,000 mile or one year oil. The second oil here, the 5W30 is Amsoil's probably most popular seller, the ASL, and it is a 25,000 mile or one year oil. Notice that it matches exactly with our EAO uh, absolute efficiency oil filter at 25,000 miles or one year. And then over here, the XL series oil is a synthetic oil but it is a 7,500 mile or six month oil. So I'm just gonna say here that I want the Signature Series oil for my particular vehicle. So I'm gonna click on that. And that's gonna bring us up immediately to this particular page. If you wanna know more about it, you can click on the click here for more information about the particular oil. Um, but I know I need six quarts. So you can do a couple of things. You can just put the quantity six in here if you want, if you want quart size packaging, but you can change your packaging if you do want. Uh, in this particular case, the unit of packaging size is either quarts or gallons, and then you can either get it in quart cases or gallon cases as well. I'm gonna go ahead and actually buy a gallon because it is a little bit less expensive when you buy it in larger packaging so and I know there's four quarts and a gallon so I'm going to hit add to cart notice here that this says right now retail price and pay no attention to what the retail price is because we're not going to pay anywhere near that retail price uh, for this purchase because that's the purpose of this video so I've got a one gallon or four quarts in my cart at the moment. I'm gonna go switch my package size here to quart. And if you recall on my lookup guide, it said I needed six quarts. So I've got a gallon in my cart. I'm actually gonna put three quarts in there because I want to top off quart uh, extra on hand. So I'm gonna add that to my cart as well. Again, pay no attention to the retail price. What I need to do now is go up here and I'm going to hit my back button and go back to my lookup guide and I'm going to scroll down to the filter that I need and I'm going to click on that that's going to bring up our filter I'm going to add that to my cart again you're seeing retail price we're not going to be paying that at all and I added that to my cart so I'm going to hit the checkout button here and all that's going to do at the moment is show us what's in our cart and as you can see here I've got my one gallon my three quarts and my EAO 42 filter and again all of these prices here are retail now here's what we're gonna do in order to pay wholesale price for these products go over here and click on preferred customers save and that's going to bring up this particular option and bring us to the preferred customer registration. I equate this particular program that Amsoil has, a lot of people don't know about it, I equate it to a Costco or Sam's Club type membership. It allows you to purchase the products at 20 to 25% off of those retail prices that we were looking at. We've got two options here. You can either do a one year membership or you can do a six month trial one time for 10 bucks. So I'm just gonna say right now I wanna do the six month trial. And when you add this to your cart, uh, when you come back in a day or so, you will see um, when you log in, what will happen is on this particular section here, when you look up products, instead of retail price, it will say preferred price when you log back into the 
site and uh, look up products. So if I get, I added that to my cart now and I'm going to hit checkout. And now let's look at our cart and see what happened. As you can see, uh, the gallon of oil went down by about 10 bucks. The three quarts that I ordered went down by about seven or eight dollars. The filter went down by about five bucks, all because I just added this preferred customer membership to my cart. Again, you will never have to do this step again. You only have to do it the first time when you're initially setting up your uh, account. So what I'm going to do now is hit proceed to checkout. And then at the proceed to checkout, I'm going to say I'm a new customer and I'm going to create an account. And then just fill out the fields. Uh, stay John Smith and email address and pick a password. And fill in our address. And you know, in everything here, uh, pretty simple. And then what you would do is hit on uh, create my account and uh, finish the checkout process. Um, at the end of this process, then you would enter your Visa, MasterCard, or Discover, and the product will be shipped to you straight from the closest Amsoil warehouse right to your doorstep and you paid wholesale price instead of retail price. If you have any questions, uh, look at the link in the video, uh, my number's there, and be more than happy to help you out. Have a great day.